Okay, so our next task is to practice quantitative transfer. So you have your digested soil in a PTFE liner. You should open this up first in the hood. Uh, and if you may see some brown gas come out. Uh, there's going to be a little bit more here. I do recommend doing this entire process in the hood, but for filming purposes, uh, I'm going to have to do it outside of the hood. So we do need to filter this sample. I'm going to fold up my filter paper. This adds another level of complexity when it comes to quantitative transfer. Because now, we have, not only do we have to get everything that's in our PTF liner into the filter paper and then into the beaker, but then we need to get everything from the beaker into our uh, uh, volumetric plot. You may want a slightly bigger piece than this, but this is what I have. So just put a little water in there to hold my filter paper in place. Make sure you are wearing gloves with this. There's strong acid in here. Okay. The other thing to note is there is a little bit of, this is probably uh, condensation on the lid. It could be some strong acid. Uh, so we do want to rinse that into our filter paper. It's not likely to contain analyte. But it could. And so we just simply pour everything from the liner into our filter paper. And we are going to rinse using very small quantities, multiple times, right into that filter paper. So that's three rinses. There's four. And those are just a few drops each. I'm going to let this uh, filter, let this drain into our beaker here. And then once everything has uh, been filtered, we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and I've let the filtrate uh, and the filtering go to completion. There may be a drop left in here, but that's fine. So you can see there's a little bit of soil residue. Um, so the, the finish wasn't absolutely complete, but we did a pretty good job of getting most everything into a um, solution to uh, digest the soil. So the next thing we're going to do is rinse our filter paper. And again, just use the small amounts. We're going to do this twice. And this just ensures that if there is any analyte left, in the soil part, uh, the undigested soil, or within the filter paper itself, in the funnel, when we get it into the solution that we are going to put in our plants. Again, be very careful with the amount of water that you're adding. Keep in mind the volume that you're going to transfer this into. You don't want to go over the line, you have to completely start over, and that's just no fun. Okay, at this point, I rinsed my filtrate a couple times with some water, small amounts, and now this has dried, so we've completely transferred all of our analyte into the beaker here below. So our next task is to transfer this, which contains our analyte, into a volumetric flask. So I'm just going to put my funnel right in the volumetric flask. If it forms a seal, um, this isn't going to work all that well, so hold it so that you can actually you know that there will be air to get in uh, to counterbalance the displacement of air inside the box. Okay, so we're going to transfer you don't have to use a funnel if you don't want to. And now again rinsing Small amounts, two or three, maybe four times. This is your practice at being a really good analytical chemist. Once you've uh, gotten everything out of your beaker and you feel happy with that, you should then rinse down your funnel. everything in there. 
And at this point, we've quantitatively transferred everything into the flask. And so you can filter the line with water um, and make sure that uh, you know, don't go over it. Because now you've just got a whole lot of stuff. And you really don't want to go over that line. Um, and then you have to remake everything. So um, be super careful there. Use a dropper if you need to. And just take your time.